Hi folks, in this brief video I would like to answer to some people asking me the reason why the plane would not intercept and capture the ILS when needed. Well, in a previous video I have shown you an example of RNAV approach procedure which is carried out only by following GPS waypoints, including the glide path. The navigation source for these procedures is the FMS mode. While you're staying in that FMS source mode, then radio navigation will not be active. And thus, even if an ILS frequency has been tuned, it won't be captured. In order to use radio navigation stations as guidance for your flight plan, you have to switch the navigation source to NAV in this selector panel. ILS signals will be made available to be used by the autopilot. I've prepared a short flight plan and I'm now using a start to Van Nuys Airport, Jani 5, and then intercept the uh, ILS for runway 16 right. For the moment we are staying in the FMS source and then we will switch to nav mode when we will need to intercept the localizer. We have set up the final uh, glide slope uh, intercepting altitude which is 3800 feet. Uh, remember to set the proper frequency here onto the radio here is the 311.3 which is the frequency for ILS Yankee for runway 16 right at Van Nuys Airport and then remember also to select the runway course that you can uh, read here in the maps 164 degrees in the course selector here also useful to use this preview button which gives you the alternate source mode that you can select. This is the course deviation index that will be active when you will switch to the nav mode. So you can help to understand how far you are from the runway center line by staying in the FMS mode and looking at the needle to come close to your path. As the needle is approaching, we can switch to navigation source. And then we can push the approach button. You see that the ILS is being captured and also the glide slope is being captured. And that's all. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.